My name is Kim Poor. My name is Sally Poor. Kim Poor is my husband. We specialize in astronomical art and astronaut memorabilia. I was with an artist for about 15 years, a uh, professional illustrator. Kim Poor of Nova Space Galleries. Tucson artist Kim Poor. But the artist drawing the most curious stairs here is Kim Poor of Tucson. There's so much astronomy going on that I have access to some real fine information. Even though most of what Poor paints are fantasy views conjured up from his own mind, he concentrates so much on realism and detail that sometimes you have to remind folks that these are not photographs. I wanted some for myself for my dorm room and uh, was winding up selling it faster than I could keep it in the dorm. So I kind of gradually snowballed into doing it the full time. I'm 60. I'll be 61 in a month. I have MGG. As far as worrying about the kids getting the disease, that is that was a big worry. When we first found out about it, um, that was pretty devastating to find out that he had a disease that he could pass on. Officially, I was diagnosed with this in 2001. It's a neurological disease of the cerebellum, which causes a uh, fine motor movement uh, impossibilities. It's very frustrating because I can't write can't talk. It's very hard to talk sickly, dictionally. I continue to work uh, because, well, A, I'm along with, uh, the only one I trust around here with, with big ideas, and B, because uh, what else would I do? He doesn't want to go places because he's in the wheelchair and he tends to run into things and bang into doors and somebody asks you to come over and visit, you're conscious of, you know, is he going to run his wheelchair into their door, scratch something up, uh, trying to use somebody's bathroom that doesn't have bars, it's not set up like he's familiar at home. So we don't really go anywhere except work. It's very hard to move sometimes, even crawling across the floor to bed. It's hard for me to do anything. I can't pick up small objects, I cramps in my hands. I can't eat till I have things to insult and clear, I suppose. For a couple of years after we found out, I just obsessed about it, worried about it, carried on about it, and then I realized that it is what it is. I can't change it. That's something I'm looking forward to, but a lot of these people are worse off, so, and there's no pain, so there's a worse way to go, I guess. Hi, my name is Nathan Poor. I'm 26 years old. I'm Kim Poor's son, and I have multiple sclerosis. Everyday life has been pretty difficult ever since I was diagnosed. I am currently studying to be a graphic artist under digital arts for a associates of science degree. I aspire to be a musician. I'm not positive if I have MJD. Um, I still yet to get tested for it. Every day I'm scared for him. I, I, I hear him coughing and trying to trying to breathe every night when he's sleeping, so it just tears a little bit out of me every day. Hi, my name is Kelsey Poor. I'm Kim Poor's daughter. I'm 29 years old and I have MJD. I was diagnosed in 2007 or 2008. The disease is currently showing itself. I would like a cure to help my father. I would like a cure to help my mother as well. I'd imagine the position she's in is real heartbreaking. My parents are my heroes, and I hope that I can find somebody that loves me as much as my mom loves my dad to help me get through this disease and to give me strength and courage every day to carry on. I'm scared of what this is going to do to my dad. I just know that that can be me someday. We've got MS and MJD in the family. Yeah, that's, that's kind of rare. You just have to enjoy life, enjoy what you have, and not worry about tomorrow. I have faith that um, with the research going on, something's going to change. They're going to figure this out. So the kids won't really have to worry about it, or their children wouldn't have to worry about it. Let's put our brains together to cure brain disease.